Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more ideas and opinions. Albert Einstein. Today we're just going to read some small pieces. One, two, three, four. Nothing major, but we're just going to kind of hop back into this by reading these small pieces here. First one we're going to read is called Peace. And since the time this article was written, it has been generally recognized that the view expressed here, which prevailed in the 18 in the 1930s, is too narrow an interpretation of causes. Nevertheless, the conclusion still holds true. Published in Mein Weltbild, Amsterdam, Querido Verlag. Um, 1934. The importance of securing international peace was recognized by the truly great men of former generations. But the technical advances of our time have turned this ethical postulate into a matter of life and death uh, for the civilized mankind today and made it a moral duty to take an active part in the solution of the problem of peace, a duty which no conscientious man can shirk. One has to realize that the powerful industrial groups concerned in the manufacture of arms are doing their best in all countries to prevent the peaceful settlement of international disputes, and that rulers can only achieve this great end if they are sure of the vigorous support of the majority of their people. In these days of democratic government, the fate of nations hangs on the people themselves. Each individual must always bear that in mind. So, he's trying to basically point out that everybody has a role to play in maintaining peace in worldwide affairs. And you cannot just say, no, I don't want to do it. <sighs> but yeah, next piece we're going to read is called The Pacifist Problem from Mein Weltbild Amsterdam Querido Verlag, 1934. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very glad of this opportunity of saying a few words to you about the problem of pacifism. The course of events in the last few years has once more shown us how little we are justified in leaving the struggle against armaments and against war spirit to the governments. On the other hand, the formation of large organizations with a large membership can in itself bring us very near very little nearer to our goal. In my opinion, the best method in this case is the violent one, conscientious objection, which must be aided by organizations that give moral and material support to the courageous conscientious objectors in each country. In this way, we may succeed in making the problem of pacifism an acute one, a real struggle to which forceful spirits will be attracted. It is an illegal struggle, but a struggle for the rights of the people against the government as far as they demand criminal acts of their citizens. Many who think themselves good pacifists will jibe at this out of 
uh, uh, jibe at this out and out pacifism on patriotic grounds. Uh, such people are not to be relied on in the hour of crisis, as the World War amply proved. I am most grateful to you for uh, according me in the opportunity to give you my views in person. Uh, so, Einstein really saying we must stand up against this violence. It cannot just be government and government. The people must take a role, kind of calling back to the last uh, part I read. This next piece is called Compulsory Service. Mein Weltbild Amsterdam, Querido Verlag, 1934. Instead of permission being given to Germany to introduce compulsory service, it ought to be taken away from all other powers. To begin with, none but mercenary armies should be permitted, the size and equipment of which should be discussed at Geneva. This would be also be better for France than to be forced to permit compulsory service in Germany. The fatal psychological effect of the military education of the people and the violation of the individual rights which it involves would thus be avoided. Moreover, it would be better, it would be much easier for two countries agreeing to compulsory arbitration for the settlement of all disputes concerning their mutual relations to combine such mercenary forces into a single organization with mixed units. This would mean financial relief and increased security for both of them. Such a process of amalgamation might extend to larger and larger combinations to finally lead to an international police, which would have to decay gradually with the increase of international security. Will you discuss this proposal with our friends by way of setting the ball rolling? Of course, I do not in the least insist on this particular proposal, but I do think it is it essential that we should that we came forward with a positive program. A merely negative policy is unlikely to produce any practical results. So here Einstein is calling out what he thinks may help fix things. You know, a mercenary force to help police internationally. Now, I do not agree with this. It could be a very bad result. Um... Because, unfortunately, most mercenaries think they do not have to answer to anybody. And thus, we could kind of see where that would be going. <sighs> but he's looking for proposals to maintain peace. And so that other countries do not prepare militaries because they want to be stronger. Last piece I'm going to read is Women and War, a retort to American women. The defenseless civilian is Albert Einstein, published in Mein Weltbild Amsterdam Corrido Verlag, 1934. In my opinion, the patriotic women ought to be sent to the front of the next war instead of the men. 
it would at least be a novelty in this dreary sphere of infinite confusion. And besides, why should not such heroic feelings on the parts of the fair sex find a more picturesque outlet than in attacks on a defenseless civilian? So, yeah. And he's pointing this out to those who, the, especially the women who are very, I'm patriotic, I feel we should have a military to protect the homeland, blah, blah, blah. He says, well, why don't all women just sit on the front line? Because at this time, you got to remember, most women still didn't participate in war. Most countries wouldn't allow it. Women in the U.S. only had received the vote 12, 13 years before. So, yeah. It would still be a while before they were going to war. But that will be all in this particular video. I'll see you all in the next one. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. But yeah, till the next one. Later.